Neo delivers on ES7 electric SUV with a two-ton tow rating. Neo is planting one after another masterpiece into the market, and now the company is all set to launch a mind-blowing ES7 electric SUV, which has the amazing potential of towing a two-ton vehicle. Shocked, right? Because it's the most unique thing that is going to execute in an EV car. But now the question is how beneficial will it be, or how much it'll succeed in the market? Every aspect of the car will be discussed here, only on ElectroZone, so you just subscribe to our channel and enjoy the video. Only two months after debuting the new ES7 SUV, NIO, a Chinese electric automaker, has reportedly begun delivering the vehicles to customers in China. NIO introduced the ES7 SUV in June. It's a dual-motor electric vehicle with seating for up to seven people and a 0-62 to mph sprint time of 3.9 seconds. The three battery options include a 75 kilowatt hour standard range, 100 kilowatt hour long range, and a 150 kilowatt hour ultra long range that promises more than 528 miles of range. It has a starting price of about $98,500, which includes the battery, but customers can save at least $15,000 by opting for Neo's battery as a system battery subscription model. It's notable because one of the first Chinese EVs to receive a towing rating. NEO states that it has been tested to tow up to 2,000 pounds and use an image of a caravan to illustrate this point. The car has vehicle-to-load capability, so its large underfloor battery can be used to charge external devices. Once all the pre-delivery checks and preparations were made, the first ES7 delivery started arriving in Chinese cities on Sunday, as promised. According to CNEV Post, NEO announced the arrival of the first vehicles in its mobile app. These cities include Beijing, Shanghai, Hefei, Nanjing, Suzhou, Ningbo, Wuhan, and Xiamen. NEO also released several images showing the SUV's delivery. With NEO's BAAS subscription model, buyers of the base ES7 SUV with a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack pay only $84,000 plus a monthly battery rental fee of $200. However, this allows for unlimited battery swapping and potential battery upgrades. The 100 kilowatt hour version of the ES7 has a slightly higher price tag at $111,000 or $88,500 in BAAS mode with a monthly battery rental cost of $350. The NEO ES7 SUV qualifies for local subsidies even though it costs more than the nominal threshold, which does not apply to vehicles with battery swap capability. This is because all NEO EVs can use battery swap stations to supplement charging. Now let's dive deeper into the NEO ES7 now. First, let's start with the exterior, shall we? The NEO ES7 is a sport utility vehicle that is a longer version of the NEO ES6 than the NEO ES8. Notable is the fact that the ES6's wheelbase is shorter than this one. The current model of the electric midsize SUV with five seats is 4,850 millimeters long, 1,965 millimeters wide, 1,731 millimeters tall, and it has a wheelbase that is 2,900 millimeters long. The dimensions of the ES7 are 4,912 millimeters in length, 1,987 in width, 1,720 in height. It is a sport utility vehicle that is a wheelbase measuring 2,960 millimeters. Now there's the question of its layout. This Neo ES7 is a front end that is almost entirely sealed off from the environment. This all-electric model is a concave body panel that is smooth and not only reflects an EV simplicity, but also helps it be more aerodynamic. Whereas the majority of sport utility vehicles have a radiator grill for cooling their engine, this model does not. In the lower section, there is a wide air intake that is shaped like an A, and underneath it is a fake skid plate. The exterior design of the ES7 follows in the footsteps of NEO's other SUVs, such as the ES8 and ES6. On the other hand, because it does not have a radiator grille, its front end has a much more streamlined appearance. The two-tier headlamps, consisting of a thin DRL strip on top and vertically stacked main lights positioned separately below, identify the prototype as a future NEO vehicle almost immediately. These headlamps are positioned separately below the vehicle. The structure and organization of the sensors that were mounted on the roof lend credence to that hypothesis. As with the ET5, the front of the roof of the ES7 is equipped with a LiDAR that is flanked by two high-resolution cameras, and the back of the roof is equipped with a high-resolution camera that is integrated into a shark fin antenna. An additional highlight at the back is a wing-shaped taillight called the Air Wing that stretches across the width of the vehicle and is comprised of 202 LED modules that are densely arranged. In addition to the two-tone paint scheme, flush door handles, squarish wheel arches, and two-tone alloy wheels, some of the other exterior highlights of the ES7 include these features. 
interior. The Neo ES7's interior bears a striking resemblance to the cabins of two other models built in the NT 2.0 platform, the ET7 and the ET5. It takes on the persona of the well-known concept of a second living room and has an elegant but unobtrusive appearance. The ES7 is Neo's first model to feature Clean Plus Napa leather, a type of leather that gets its natural tanning from coffee bean shells. This leather is completely safe for the environment because it does not contain any acids, aldehydes, or chrome. The seat backs of the rear seats can be adjusted electrically between 23 and 31 degrees, and they are heated. The ES7 is a sleek and curved horizontal dashboard with the Nomi AI system in the center, a bridge-type center console, a compact steering wheel, and two freestanding screens, a compact instrument cluster in landscape orientation, and a large central display in portrait orientation. The Nomi AI system is located in the center of the dashboard. The Neo Pano Cinema Digital Cockpit System, which is compatible with AR and VR, comes standard in the ES7. Neo and Unreal, a company that makes augmented reality devices, devices have collaborated to develop a pair of custom AR glasses that are capable of projecting a 201-inch screen at a distance of 6 meters. These augmented reality glasses, along with other features of the electric vehicle such as its 256-color digital waterfall ambient lighting and 7.1.4 channel, 23-speaker, 1,000-watt sound system with Dolby Atmos, offers the passenger a wide variety of high-end entertainment options while they're on the move. Neo Autonomous Driving is a feature that can be found in the ES7. The new electric SUV comes equipped with Neo Aquila Super Sensing, which includes a total of 33 sensors. These sensors include a LiDAR, 7 8 megapixel cameras, 4 3 megapixel light sensitive cameras, 1 advanced driver monitoring system, 5 millimeter wave radars, 12 ultrasonic sensors, GPS, an inertial measurement unit, and a vehicle to vehicle communication system. Platform and Specifications The Neo Technology Platform 2.0, which made its debut in the ET7 and also serves as the foundation for the ET5, is used in the development of the ES7. The electric SUV has an even weight distribution between the front and rear axles of 50-50, which should make it easier to handle corners and other sharp turns. Lithium ion and lithium iron phosphate battery packs from the CATL owned Jiangsu Times New Energy Technology Company LTD and a lithium ion battery pack from Shuzhou Zinio New Energy Technologies will be available, according to data from China's Ministry of Industry and Information Technology. The ES7 comes standard with a front motor that has 180 kilowatts of power and a rear motor that has 300 kilowatts of power and these motors are capable of producing a combined power output of 480 kilowatts and a torque output of 850 newton meters just 3.9 seconds are needed to go from zero to 100 kilometers per hour and the ministry of industry and information technology of china reports that the es7 can reach a maximum speed of 124 miles per hour that is quite enough for an electric car so that's it friends it's time to wrap up today's video we hope you enjoyed it if you did please make sure you give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. We thank you so much for watching today's video and press that bell icon so you get notified of our next one. Have a great day.